Welcome back to the Time Management at Minos workshop. This video and the assignment will show you some tools we have to help you stay organized. Our first tool is the Outlook calendar. Outlook hosts our Minos email. Remember, you should use your Minos email and check it daily. In your Minos email, you can access your Outlook calendar. So let's start by finding it. So if you don't already have it open, log into your Minos email. And then we'll use the calendar icon in the upper left. You can really customize this tool. You can add appointments, events, or reminders. You can use this for your Minos responsibilities or other personal appointments you have. Your teachers, or our school as a whole, might create events and invite you to them. When you accept that, it automatically puts it on your calendar and sends you a reminder. And coming soon, you'll have access to a school-wide calendar that will show your class meetings, office hours, and when the week starts and ends. Let's take a look at an Outlook calendar. So right now I am logged into my Minos email. In the left, right below the envelope, there is an icon for the calendar. So click on the calendar. It will show you your appointments that you have scheduled. You can change how you want this set up if you wanna show just today, or if you wanna look at a full month, Typically, a lot of us do just the week. I have a lot of appointments scheduled, but if I wanna add an appointment or a reminder, I just click at the time that I want, and then I'm gonna enter information. When I click save, it will add that to my calendar. You now need to answer some questions in your worksheet. So open your worksheet. You're going to watch a video from Microsoft Support, and you're going to create an event. There are some highlighted questions you should answer. When you're done with those questions, come back to this video, and we'll do the next step. Our next tool is called the Pace Chart. We present our assignments in weekly folders. This means when your classes are ready, you'll see a whole week of assignments at one time. Our weeks begin on Mondays and typically end the next Sunday evening. So this means that typically you'll have five school days plus the weekend to complete your assignments. In the class, you will not see specific dates of when assignments are due. This is what you use the pace chart for. The pace chart will tell you what weekly folder you should be working on um, to finish up your class by the end of the quarter. You can find your pace chart at minos.org slash calendar. And it's also in all of our getting started folders. So here I am at minos.org. I'm gonna use the calendar tab across the top and I want to download the pace chart. You're going to use this often, so I would recommend that you download it and just save it to your computer. The pace chart is organized by quarters, so when you open this up, scroll to the current quarter. It's important to know as well what part of the class you are registered for. If you're not sure, please ask your counselor or your teacher. So then on the pace chart, you're going to find the row that we're currently at. So if you find the current date, it will tell you what folder you should be working on. So for example, the row I just highlighted tells me that um, between Monday 919 and Sunday 925, if I am enrolled in part one, I'd be working on week two. If I were enrolled in part two, I would be working on week 10. 
again. Pause your video and return to your worksheet. You're going to open the paste chart and answer some questions using the paste chart. Another way to help you stay overview organized is the weekly overview. So at the top of each folder, there will be a document that lists all the assignments that you need to do this week. Again, it doesn't have specific due dates. A lot of students like to, to print this off and use it as kind of a checklist. Let's check out a sample of what this would look like. So here I am in a class. All of your work is going to be found using the My Assignments link. I'm going to show us part one. So when you open up your part one, you're going to see each week. So at this case, I'm going to open week one. Again, the first item should be an overview. We use these overviews as documents. That way you can use um, Immersive Reader to read them to you. You could save them and edit them, or you can print them off. So when I click, it's going to open my overview. And again, I could use this as a Word document, or I could print this. And it gives you a little checklist so you know what you need to do this week. Take some time to check out the sample weekly overview in your assignment, but you do not do not need to submit anything for this tool. Now let's look at the My Progress page. So each class will have a page where you can see how you're doing on the assignments. This is going to list all the assignments for the whole semester, not just the ones you have um, you should have completed already. Um, the assignment name tells you what week it occurs. This will help you stay organized. The top row lists your current grade. This tells you what percentage you have based on all the stuff you should have done so far. Let's return to a class and look at a sample My Progress page. So in the left-hand links, you will see um, a link to My Progress. And that will open up your current grades. Some things you'll want to check your settings on. Make sure all assignments is selected, as well as course order. So at the very top, in the blue bands, it's going to show you the percent based on all the stuff that you should have done. Then it will list scores on individual assignments. If you see a little text bubble, it means your teacher gave you feedback, and you should click that to read more. If you see the yellow circle with an exclamation point, that tells you you've submitted it, um, but she has not graded it yet. At Minos, we recommend that you read your feedback and revise your assignments. That's a great way to improve your learning and increase your score. For this assignment, there is nothing that you need to submit for the My Progress page tool. Some students like to make a list of what they should do each week and when they're going to do it. So there's a lot of online Word document templates. Um, some students like to buy a daily planner or just a calendar. Or again, you can use Microsoft Outlook for this. The worksheet gives you some templates um, for examples that you might like to use. So take some time to check those out or consider buying yourself a planner or just making a list in your notebook. At the end of the worksheet, there are some reflection questions. This is a good time to compare the different tools and think about what you might use. Make sure that you have answered all of the highlighted yellow questions. Save the document. Then upload it to the assignment form and click Submit.